So the Ukraine-Russia talks will in fact continue today. That's been confirmed by the authorities of both Ukraine as well as Russia. Let's get you that breaking update as well. Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, has said the meetings continue and I am informed the positions during the negotiations already sound more realistic. But time is still needed for decisions to be in the interest of Ukraine. Uh, so Zelensky say he's hopeful of the talks really yielding some sort of a result. There has been a step down as far as Ukraine is concerned. Zelensky has confirmed that they have to accept and concede that there's no way Ukraine can be a part of NATO and that by itself is a huge step. Remember what started all of this is Ukraine's bid to join the NATO alliance. Now with Zelensky admitting that that's something that can no longer happen, it looks like perhaps Russia also would be willing to have a more open dialogue because of that public statement that's been made by the Ukrainian president. Zelensky has also in fact said that uh, the positions during the negotiations already sound more realistic but so far from what we've heard, it definitely doesn't look like Russia is willing to step down. It's more of Ukraine actually going ahead and conceding on several demands that Russia has put forth, including the latest one, perhaps the biggest so far, saying that, look, we have to agree and decide now that we cannot be a part of NATO. That is the reality. A very, very strong and very open statement there by Zelensky that perhaps indicates what things, uh, what's going to happen in the next round of talks. So has this turnaround by Zelensky been triggered by the fact that Russian troops are inching closer and closer to Kyiv? Putin has a very clear strategy at hand. He wants to put, it forth, put in place a, a Kremlin-friendly government. And to do that, he wants to capture the capital city of Kyiv, where Zelensky is confirmed he currently is. The latest incident of a residential building being bombed was just kilometers away from the presidential building. As he walks amidst the tremors of his besieged city, the once distant thunder of the Russian war machine is now closing in and fast. <laughs> Commanding the final defense of Ukraine's capital, President Volodymyr Zelensky is now less than eight kilometers away from where Russian weapons are landing. This is a fire tender working here. But still there is fire that has been burning for last two and a half hours since it was struck by a missile in the morning today at 4.30 to 5 local time. The incomplete building has been destroyed and there was another blast which I saw just before this. It was in the middle of a road, nearby buildings were damaged. Now the whole Kyiv city is within the artillery range. It is like about uh, 10 kilometers away from the, from the uh, city center. But it is quite close to Irpin where the fighting was taking place and maybe just about 10 kilometers from the front lines and 10 kilometers from the center. Zelensky's fortress of Kyiv has been breached with the shock waves of Putin's shells now quaking the presidential palace. Once restricted to the satellite suburbs of the city, the firepower of Putin's war machine is barely three kilometers from the once bustling city center now. Range of the medium artillery and the multi barrel rocket launchers, which Russian forces have. The entire city is within their range now. The hunted Ukrainian president is aware that the man who stalks him with an enormous military machine is sniffing an end game in the heart of the country's capital. And as tension spreads in Kyiv, he has spoken out once again. Soon the numbers of downed helicopters of Russia will reach hundreds of units. They have already lost 80 warplanes, hundreds of tanks and thousands of other units of equipment. Leaving in their wake a trail of damage, debris and devastation, the Russian forces are training their weapons ever closer to the man they wish to topple as Ukraine's head of state. The man who continues to defy President Putin in what is emerging to be a last stand battle. With peace talks between Ukraine and Russia meandering and the devastation piling up every minute, will Putin's army be at President Zelensky's doorstep next? And if they get him, what will they do with him? The world is watching. With Rajesh Pavar in Kyiv, Ukraine, Bureau Report, India Today.